So guys, welcome back to OMC2, the second episode in this uh, run of, of uh, videos. Today we're going to be driving the M29 in an old double-decker bus. I love the old double-deckers. The, the new ones are, are nice and all to drive, but I prefer the old ones. I'm more used to those. What we're doing is we're taking the M29 from Rosneck and terminating at Witten or Wittenbergplatz, I think it's Wittenbergplatz, that's how you say it, but yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice little route, I'd say, it goes through, it crosses over with the X1 and the X10 slightly, although it does start from a different place, so we're going to just advance time a little bit, because our route doesn't start till 11 minutes past 11, so we'll, uh, We'll wait for this to load, and we'll be right back. Time to open the doors. Oh wait, I have to drive forward. I have to drive forward. That's that's uh, that's where I'm getting confused. I thought it was at that spot. Let's pop it into three. This one's different because it has one, two, and three rather than just drive. So it's a little bit harder to to like know what the different numbers mean and stuff. We'll just whack the heating up a little bit. Whack it Hello. right up and accelerate the heating. Here we go. Right, so our next stop is Tepleza? No clue. I'm not even going to try and pronounce half these names. Since we don't have a little trip computer, I'm just going to stick the, uh, the display on the top where it tells us exactly what our next stop is and how late we are. But these controls down where I'm fiddling with, they're something to do with the heating. I don't know what all of them do, although the one on the end takes the air from the outside and heats it up. That's that's pretty much what you need to know, essentially. Let's go. It's a nice little area. And we're going to go right here. All of these taxis. This must be a taxi drop-off point or something. Oh, well, it makes sense. There's one. <laughs> there's actually one there. And yet again, we're stuck at some traffic lights where we're going to be uh, held for quite a while. Oh, I didn't actually put my handbrake on. There we go. That truck is taking forever just to turn a corner. Unreal. We're already half a minute late. <laughs> and we haven't even got out of the first bus stop near enough yet. I do, I do love this DLC. In some places. Because things are so well done. And it was one of the early DLCs. And, it, and I think it was one of the early ones I actually bought. Because I know there was Hamburg, which was the first one. Which introduced the day and the night routes. Specific night routes and stuff. And then there's, there's some other ones. And then there's this one. And then you've got Reinhausen and Project Gladbach. And then you've got some other some other maps which are not very good. The only the only issue with this is that the maps on it aren't all great. In fact, there's probably there's probably more rubbish ones than good ones. If I'm going to be quite honest, which is why this has a limited place on the channel because of it. So that's why I haven't really bought many DLCs. But some of the some of the recent ones have been horrible review wise but then there's the Hamburg Modern which seems to be really really good so I might actually do that later down the line right we're coming up to our second or third stop and yep there's loads of traffic lights now it says 50 there but I don't think it's 50 I think it's 50 going right. If you went if you went right, it'd be 50. The signposting's not like not quite clear in this. It really isn't. Right. Joseph Joachim Platz. That's I say it's Joachim. Minus four in the bus. Wow. They're going to be freezing cold when they get on. Hello. I mean, especially... Yep. About the low temperature in my bus. Yeah, well, I've got the heating on full whack, and 
I can't really do much about that. So you're just gonna have a gonna have to freeze till it gets up to like. Well, I'm surprised there isn't icicles already in the bus. Man, there's no way to to properly heat it up unless you heat it up half an hour before you start your route and then there you go because you see the temperature's dropping a lot now. More traffic lights. Good job we didn't actually need to stop for those. Right. Half a minute late. Still still all good. Picking up some more people. It's a good job I did bring a double decker because there are a fair few people getting on. Especially like 11 o'clock in the morning as well. It's one of the busier times. Right, let's get out. There we go. We can't barely see ahead of us, to be fair. It's a bit foggy, it seems. Which isn't too bad. At the end of the day. Now, I did say it wasn't signposted properly, so I don't know whether to be doing 30 or 50. But I think this is the right speed limit. Looks very different when you're driving this route, especially within this kind of climate, all, all the trees are icy and there's barely any markings on the pavement because it's all covered with snow. In full snow, it is bad. Hello. Honestly, in full snow, it takes you twice as long to do a route. Oh my god, there's lots of textures. Look at the textures popping. Oh my god. I know someone wanted to get on the bus so I shot out. Whoops. So the only problem with this game is that the textures flick on and off. That's the only little criticism I have, to be honest. Didn't do it this bad last time out though. Must be I don't know, it must be something to do with the climate. Oh, little little stutter there. And there's uh, another boss coming past. It's another M29. See, so he's got the new version, and I've got the older version of the double decker. It's nice to see that, though. Like when you're driving along and you see like an old equivalent bus, and then a newer one. It's it makes more sense because you d you don't see enough of that on this map. You just see the new variants of the buses in the new like liveries. So there's there's no mix really. Right, no one wants to get off here. And no one looks like they're getting on either. And then that, look at that car. Look at the car ahead. I put on my indicator and he stops because he thinks I'm going right. Bear in mind I was at the bus stop. Little things like that don't really bother me because it's, it's OMSI. I really couldn't care because it's a good game. Ultra realism like that little hiss there, that's that's really good. It's realism. Looks like someone crashed. I was just parked off the road. That's a bit weird. Bismarck Platz is our next stop and it's just up here. Oh my god, I hit the curb. And there's more people. A lot more people getting on. Right. Pretty much bang on time. Half a minute late. We'll be a, probably a minute late by this rate. Right, there we go. 0.7. Ah, uh, we, we're alright. Can make up some time later on. And the bonus is we have a bus lane. Yes. Bus lanes are fantastic in this game. Because you can just skip all of the traffic in the other lanes. And sometimes you get your own little specialist traffic light. Did you see? Right there in that left lane. Well, far right in this case. You see? We would have been stuck behind that guy. Let's give him a little race. And I've caught right up to him, look at that. See? There you go. 
on specialist bus lane, and then he moves over. Scared that guy. Scared to race with a double-decker bus. I mean, I would be if it was that close. Oh, my God. Right, there's loads of people getting on. On the traffic lights just changed. Wow, I'm really... Well, I was going to be early until the traffic lights changed. Might as well just sit here for a bit. Let's creep forward slowly. Don't cross the road. Don't cross the road, pedestrian. Gonna get run over. You get these, like, little fuel stations as well on the right. Dotted throughout the map, although there isn't actually a map that you can look at in the game. So you, can, you can't really refuel anywhere except from the depot, really. Rothan Platz. No, we don't need to stop here, do we? Made a mistake of stopping at that stop before, thinking it was where I needed to stop, but that was the one back there. Next stop's up here. Soon we'll get into the, uh, the part of the route where you get loads of traffic lights and then it's like a really narrow road with like loads of trees and you have like different lanes it's, it's, it's annoying it's set similar to this but not if you know what I mean I think it's just up ahead though now we need to switch lanes after we get out of this bus stop we're just picking up the one guy and we're 0.3 minutes late, so we've made up some time. So, pretty good so far. Right, as long as these don't change, all is good. And they didn't. Excellent. Yep, this is the part I was on about. It's basically a really three narrow lanes, but you'll have someone parked in the far right one anyway. Loads of trees. It makes you feel quite hemmed in and I don't know whether or not to switch lanes for that. That's why I did it anyway. It's like a it's like a town centre in some ways with like little parking spaces. But then people still park in the other road anyway. It's a bit weird. Here's our next stop up ahead. Oh my god. Yep. Loads of people. Absolutely loads of people. Right. Let's see how late we'll be after this. And there's two guys who are, who are clones. Hello. Two women who are clones. Hello. Right, where's, where's the bald head guy's clone? Probably got on. Okay, we're nearly a minute late. <laughs> there you go. It's time to uh, get some speed up because no doubt we'll be behind. This is this is the part of the route where it gets the busiest, and this is where you're going to get behind even more. Combined with traffic lights. I just don't get it. They could have, like, knocked some of these parking spaces away. And put a roundabout in just, just to make it a bit easier. To, like, get through. I've seen plenty of buses, though. This is where, like, all of the, the main routes kind of go through. They go through this. So there you go. The M19, M29 and N10 stop here, but... X10 comes through here, but they won't stop till further down. This is this is like what happened before we came through this bit on the X10, I think it was, and then we turned off somewhere. Right, let's get in the the other lane. 1.2 minutes, and the temperature's slowly going up, which is good. 
No. Oh, Granny. Granny, don't step out in the middle of the road. Use the zebra crossing. All the traffic lights. God damn it. Little things like that make your journey a little bit more engaging rather than just like I'm driving a bus, I have nothing to dodge, don't have to do anything, just stop at traffic lights. You know, it becomes very boring this part if you don't have things like that. And then you've got your little parked cars as well. See, M19, M29 and X10. X10 does come down here. There's a subway as well. The underground as it is. I wish they did something with this one. Where you could go on the subway. Like drive one of the subway trains. Although it wouldn't be a bus sim, it would be a train sim, wouldn't it? But be good, right. Where are we? I think we're about halfway in the route and now we've got a bunch of people getting on. Curry Mit Bis. That must be a curry house or something. Take away. Or we're going to have to skip over to the far left lane. Because the taxi was in our spot. Which, it makes no sense to park there. I don't get it, really. Well, that looks like a Renault Clio. Without any branding on it, although the shape is very similar. Very weird. Right, I don't know where we need to stop, because I can't actually see that overhead. Oh, it must be here. Olivier Platz. Where we link up. With a couple of other routes. Although we haven't seen another bus. Although the 110 is supposed to be here as well. We haven't seen that. We haven't seen many buses like on our side of the road. They've always been on the other side. Skip over into this other lane. Oh, the cars. Honestly, some of them turn so slowly. Watch this car ahead. Watch it. It sped up to like normal speed and then it didn't, it just kind of slowed down, makes no sense. Like I know this game was created in like 2000 and I think it was 11 or 13. So I don't expect the AI to be great. It's probably one of the flaws with this game. But it's so stupid that you can crash with the AI. For no stupid reason, because they'll just drive into you and then it's obviously your fault. So then, in this game, what you have to do is you have to stop, you have to, to call the police and then you have to report the incident, otherwise you get points on your, on your license. And then your passengers get angry and then they'll all leave your bus. This is why I have collisions turned off. Only simulator that I have collisions turned off for, in truth. Which makes it feel less like a simulator, although driving around in this bus makes up for it. Like it's so, it's so good with how everything is modelled. Everything was modelled very well. The bus, the sounds, it feels real. Oh, don't, don't start. A fight outside the bus stop, man. God. That's the awkward thing as well. Sometimes they'll like jitter from side to side before they get on. It's annoying. Just wait for the door to close before we set off. Right, there's no one actually getting off. What's that button? Every now and again. You'll get things like that where the doors won't shut properly automatically and uh, you have to manually press the button. I mean, that, that's what a simulator should be, but... It's a bit annoying when it happens. And then it's annoying when you have traffic lights 
And you're probably just going to be stood here for about half a minute. Makes the route longer. I'm not even going to lie. It's like stopping at these traffic lights. I feel like we've stopped at every set of lights near enough. On this stretch of road. Right, it wasn't even half a minute, which was good. 1.2 minutes late. Or 1.3 now. Seemed to be alright on time. Seemed to be getting there. See, like, with, with this stretch of road, though, it's just the same thing. You see all these trees and car, sp like car spaces and stuff. And then you stop at another set of lights. And then you see the same thing again. You see another underground. It's like they copied and pasted some things. It's just, it's just annoying, to be honest. Right, here we go. Another stop. Oh, God. Right, let's get this guy on and let's get out of here. So that doll's shot now, since that's not enabled, right? Let's go. Another set of lights. Can we jump these ones? Right, I'm going to speed up slightly. Because I'm not stopping another set of lights. I'm not. Oh, and there's another bus. Okay, that bus has no one on it. Oh god, freezing. It's freezing. It's refreshing a lot of things. There's no, no one on that bus either. There's no livery on that one. Oh god, there's buses that have no liveries on. Oh, what timing that was. So you would turn left there to end the X10 route. Oh my god, did you see that? Oh my god, did you... Look! White wheels on cars. This is... Whoa. Teleporting granny. Did you see that? It, 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 oh my god, it's like... It's like Emperor Palpatine. In Star Wars Battlefront when he does his little... Like... Twirl in the air. It was like that, oh my god. <laughs> it was like that. Oh my god, look. Oh dear. This is. Oh no. Oh, the frames. Oh, the frames. And the bus behind us is white in its, in, on the inside. It has no interior. Oh, and the bus is jittering. Oh, this isn't. No, this isn't good. Oh no, this is not what you want at all. Europe centre, we're nearly at the end of the route, everyone. Just one more stop after this one. No, but I don't like the sign of this. This is... This is what I didn't want, is the frames to be this bad. Oh my god, horrible. It's like 20 FPS. Oh my god, there's a white, completely white bus. And there's a taxi over there with white wheels. The end is near. Oh my god. It, everything's just going wrong. Look at that. Oh no. No, there's a white car. Look at that. There's no texture on that car. Look at that. It's just it's just a white shadow. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be textured, that white bit on that little thing over there. One point five minutes late. Well then. Oh god, a bus behind us as well. God no. This is what I feared. The road is completely white up ahead. I think we might be out of luck here. 
Like, really out of luck. Because that's not supposed to happen. Oh, no. That's not supposed to happen. This might be it, you know. Oh, no, it is. No, it is. The traffic lights are completely dead. It's like driving in the apocalypse. Yeah. That's it. Well, guys. We can't go any further. Unfortunately. So everyone get off the bus. <laughs> Just randomly getting off in the middle of the road. Oh, that's a shame, because the, it glitched. It completely glitched. Uh, and now you can see, look at that. It's just glitches everywhere. Completely white van there. <sighs> well, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of OMSI, the M29. We never actually made it to the end destination, unfortunately. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, subscribe for more indie and simulation game content, and I shall see you all next time. <laughs>